The American Psychological Association ARPA, is the largest scientific and professional organization of psychologists in the United States, with over 118,000 members including scientists, educators, clinicians, consultants, and students. The ARPA has an annual budget of around $115 million. There are 54 divisions of the ARPA, interest groups covering different subspecialties of psychology or topical areas. Topic. Profile The ARPA has task forces that issue policy statements on various matters of social importance, including abortion, human rights, the welfare of detainees, human trafficking, the rights of the mentally ill, IQ testing, sexual orientation change efforts, and gender equality. Topic. Governance. ARPA is a corporation chartered in the District of Columbia. APA's bylaws describe structural components that serve as a system of checks and balances to ensure democratic process. The organizational entities include ARPA President. APA's president is elected by the membership. The president chairs the Council of Representatives and the Board of Directors. During his or her term of office, the president performs such duties as are prescribed in the bylaws. Board of Directors. The board is composed of six members at large, the president-elect, president, past president, treasurer, recording secretary, CEO, and the chair of the American Psychological Association of Graduate Students APAGS. The board oversees the association's administrative affairs and presents an annual budget for council approval. ARPA Council of Representatives. The council has sole authority to set policy and make decisions regarding APA's roughly $60 million annual income. It is composed of elected members from state, provincial, territorial psychological associations, ARPA divisions and the ARPA Board of Directors. ARPA Committee Structure, Boards and Committees. Members of boards and committees conduct much of APA's work on a volunteer basis. They carry out a wide variety of tasks suggested by their names. Some have responsibility for monitoring major programs, such as the directorates, the journals and international affairs. Topic. Good Governance Project The Good Governance Project GGP, was initiated in January 2011 as part of the strategic plan to assure APA's governance practices, processes and structures are optimized and aligned with what is needed to thrive in a rapidly changing and increasingly complex environment. The charge included soliciting feedback and input stakeholders, learning about governance best practices, recommending whether change was required, recommending needed changes based on data, and creating implementation plans. The June 2013 GGP update on the recommended changes can be found in the document. Good Governance Project Recommended Changes to Maximize Organizational Effectiveness of ARPA Governance. The suggested changes would change ARPA from a membership-based, representational structure to a corporate structure. These motions will be discussed and voted upon by Council on July 31, 2013 and August 2, 2013. Topic. Organizational structure ARPA comprises an executive office, a publishing operation, offices that address administrative business, information technology, and operational needs, and five substantive directorates. The Education Directorate accredits doctoral psychology programs and addresses issues related to psychology education in secondary through graduate education. 
The practice directorate engages on behalf of practicing psychologists and healthcare consumers. The public interest directorate advances psychology as a means of addressing the fundamental problems of human welfare and promoting the equitable and just treatment of all segments of society. The Public and Member Communications Directorate is responsible for APA's outreach to its members and affiliates and to the general public. The Science Directorate provides support and voice for psychological scientists. Topic. Membership and title of Psychologist ARPA policy on the use of the title psychologist is contained in the Model Act for State Licensure of Psychologists. Psychologists have earned a doctoral degree in psychology and may not use the title psychologist and or deliver psychological services to the public, unless the psychologist is licensed or specifically exempted from licensure under the law. State licensing laws specify state-specific requirements for the education and training of psychologists leading to licensure. Psychologists who are exempted from licensure could include researchers, educators, or general applied psychologists who provide services outside the health and mental health field. Full membership with the ARPA in United States and Canada requires doctoral training whereas associate membership requires at least two years of postgraduate studies in psychology or approved related discipline. The minimal requirement of a doctoral dissertation related to psychology for full membership can be waived in certain circumstances where there is evidence that significant contribution or performance in the field of psychology has been made. Topic. Affiliate organizations American Psychological Association Services, Inc. APASI, was formed in 2018 and is a 501 C entity, which engages in advocacy on behalf of psychologists from all areas of psychology. Topic. Awards. Each year, the ARPA recognizes top psychologists with the Distinguished Contributions Awards. These awards are the highest honors given by the ARPA. ARPA Award for Distinguished Scientific Contributions to Psychology ARPA Distinguished Scientific Award for the Applications of Psychology Award for Distinguished Contributions to Psychology in the Public Interest Award for Distinguished Contributions to Education and Training in Psychology ARPA Award for Distinguished Professional Contributions to Applied Research Award for Distinguished Professional Contributions to Independent Practice Award for Distinguished Professional Contributions to Practice in the Public Sector ARPA Award for Distinguished Contributions to the International Advancement of Psychology ARPA Award for Lifetime Contributions to Psychology APA's highest award ARPA International Humanitarian Award Topic. Publications The American Psychologist is the association's official journal. ARPA also publishes over 70 other journals encompassing most specialty areas in the field. APA's Educational Publishing Foundation is an imprint for publishing on behalf of other organizations. Its journals include Archives of Scientific Psychology, Behavioral Neuroscience, Developmental Psychology, Emotion Health Psychology Journal of Applied Psychology Journal of Comparative Psychology Journal of Experimental Psychology Journal of Experimental Psychology, Applied Journal of Family Psychology Journal of Occupational Health Psychology 
Journal of Personality and Social Psychology Psychological Bulletin Psychological Review Psychology and Aging Psychology of Addictive Behaviors Psychology of Violence School Psychology Quarterlife ARPA has published hundreds of books. Among these books are, the Publication Manual of the American Psychological Association and a concise version titled Concise Rules of ARPA Style, which is the official guide to ARPA Style, the ARPA Dictionary of Psychology, an eight-volume Encyclopedia of Psychology, and many scholarly books on specific subjects such as varieties of anomalous experience. The ARPA has also published children's books under the Imagination Press imprint, software for data analysis, videos demonstrating therapeutic techniques, reports, and brochures. The Psychologically Healthy Workplace Program The Psychologically Healthy Workplace Program PHWP, is a collaborative effort between the American Psychological Association and the ARPA practice organization designed to help employers optimize employee well-being and organizational performance. The PHWP includes APA's Psychologically Healthy Workplace Awards, a variety of ARPA practice organization resources, including PHWP web content, e-newsletter, podcast and blog, and support of local programs currently implemented by 52 state, provincial and territorial psychological associations as a mechanism for driving grassroots change in local business communities. The awards are designed to recognize organizations for their efforts to foster employee health and well-being while enhancing organizational performance. The award program highlights a variety of workplaces, large and small, profit and non-profit, in diverse geographical settings. Applicants are evaluated on their efforts in the following five areas, employee involvement, work-life balance, employee growth and development, health and safety, and employee recognition. Awards are given at the local and national level. Topic. ARPA style American Psychological Association ARPA style is a set of rules developed to assist reading comprehension in the social and behavioral sciences. Used to ensure clarity of communication, the layout is designed to move the idea forward with a minimum of distraction and a maximum of precision. The publication manual of the American Psychological Association contains the rules for every aspect of writing, especially in the social sciences from determining authorship to constructing a table to avoiding plagiarism and constructing accurate reference citations. The general format of ARPA is most commonly used to cite sources within the social sciences. General guidelines for a paper in ARPA style includes, typed, double-spaced on standard sized paper 8.5 x 11 with 1 inch margins on all sides. The font should be clear and highly readable. ARPA recommends using 12pt. Times New Roman font. Topic. Databases ARPA maintains a number of databases, including PsychInfo, PsychArticles, PsychBooks, PsychExtra, PsychCritiques, PsychTests, and PsychTherapy. ARPA also operates a comprehensive search platform, PsychNet, covering multiple databases. PsychInfo PsychInfo is a bibliographic database maintained by ARPA. It contains citations and summaries dating from the 19th century, including journal articles, book chapters, books, technical reports, and dissertations within the field of psychology. 
As of January 2010, PsychInfo has collected information from 2,457 journals. History Founding The ARPA was founded in July 1892 at Clark University by a small group of around 30 men. By 1916, there were over 300 members. The first president was G. Stanley Hall. During World War II, the ARPA merged with other psychological organizations, resulting in a new divisional structure. Nineteen divisions were approved in 1944. The divisions with the most members were the clinical and personnel now counseling divisions. From 1960 to 2007, the number of divisions expanded to 54. Today the ARPA is affiliated with 60 state, territorial, and Canadian provincial associations. Topic. Dominance of clinical psychology Due to the dominance of clinical psychology in ARPA, several research-focused groups have broken away from the organization. These include the Psychonomic Society in 1959, with a primarily cognitive orientation, and the Association for Psychological Science, which changed its name from the American Psychological Society in early 2006, in 1988, with a broad focus on the science and research of psychology. Theodore H. Blau was the first clinician in independent practice to be elected president of the American Psychological Association in 1977. Topic. Presidents Topic. Divisions The ARPA has 56 numbered divisions, 54 of which are currently active. Topic: Positions on homosexuality. Topic: Cause of homosexuality. The ARPA states the following, there is no consensus among scientists about the exact reasons that an individual develops a heterosexual, bisexual, or homosexual orientation. Although much research has examined the possible genetic, hormonal, developmental, social, and cultural influences on sexual orientation, no findings have emerged that permit scientists to conclude that sexual orientation is determined by any particular factor or factors. Many think that nature and nurture both play complex roles. Most people experience little or no sense of choice about their sexual orientation. Topic. Conversion therapy In 1975, ARPA issued a supporting statement that homosexuality is not a mental disorder. There is a concern in the mental health community that the advancement of conversion therapy itself causes social harm by disseminating inaccurate views about sexual orientation and the ability of homosexual and bisexual people to lead happy, healthy lives. Most mainstream health organizations are critical of conversion therapy, and no mainstream medical organization endorses conversion therapy. The ARPA adopted a resolution in August 2009 stating that mental health professionals should avoid telling clients that they can change their sexual orientation through therapy or other treatments. The approval, by APA's Governing Council of Representatives, came at APA's annual convention, during which a task force presented a report that in part examined the efficacy of so-called reparative therapy, or sexual orientation change efforts. The 
Resolution on appropriate affirmative responses to sexual orientation distress and change efforts also advises that parents, guardians, young people, and their families avoid sexual orientation treatments that portray homosexuality as a mental illness or developmental disorder and instead seek psychotherapy, social support, and educational services that provide accurate information on sexual orientation and sexuality, increase family and school support, and reduce rejection of sexual minority youth. Same-sex marriage The ARPA adopted a resolution stating that it is unfair and discriminatory to deny same-sex couples legal access to civil marriage and to all its attendant rights, benefits, and privileges. It also filed an amicus brief in the federal court case in which Judge Vaughn Walker struck down California's constitutional ban on same-sex marriage. The ARPA later praised the decision and denied the existence of any scientific justification for a ban on same sex marriage. In August 2011, the ARPA clarified their support of same sex marriage in light of continued research suggesting that the same community benefits accepted as a result of heterosexual marriage apply to same sex couples as well. Dr. Clinton Anderson, Associate Executive Director of the ARPA and Director of the Office on Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Transgender Concerns, said that, prior to this research, "...we knew that marriage benefits heterosexual people in very significant ways, but we didn't know if that would be true for same-sex couples." Anderson also put forward the APA's view that merely allowing same sex civil unions is an inadequate option. Anything other than marriage is, in essence, a stigmatization of same sex couples. Stigma does have negative impacts on people. <laughs> ARPA internship crisis for graduate students The ARPA is the main accrediting body for U.S. clinical and counseling psychology doctoral training programs and internship sites. ARPA accredited clinical psychology Ph.D. and PSYD programs typically require students to complete a one-year clinical internship in order to graduate or a two-year part-time internship. However, there is currently an internship crisis. As defined by the American Psychological Association, in that approximately 25% of clinical psychology doctoral students do not match for internship each year. This crisis has led many students, approximately 1,000 each year, to reapply for internship, thus delaying graduation, or to complete an unaccredited internship, and often has many emotional and financial consequences. Students who do not complete an ARPA-accredited internships in the U.S. are barred from certain employment settings, including VA hospitals, the military, and cannot get licensed in some states, such as Utah and Mississippi. Additionally, some postdoctoral fellowships and other employment settings require or prefer an ARPA-accredited internship. The ARPA has been criticized for not addressing this crisis adequately and many psychologists and graduate students have petitioned for the ARPA to take action by regulating graduate training programs. Topic. Warfare and the use of torture A year after the establishment of the Human Resources Research Organization by the U.S. military in 1951, the CIA began funding numerous psychologists and other scientists in the development of psychological warfare methods under the supervision of ARPA Treasurer Meredith Crawford. Donald O. Hebb, the ARPA president in 1960 who was awarded the ARPA Distinguished Scientific Contribution Award in 1961, defended the torture of research subjects, arguing that what was being studied was other nations' methods of brainwashing. 
Former ARPA President Martin Seligman spoke upon the invitation of the CIA on his animal experimentation where he shocked a dog unpredictably and repeatedly into total, helpless passivity. Former ARPA President Joseph Matarazzo designed a new CIA interrogation regimen and supervised the torture of Abu Zubaydah at a secret CIA detention site in Thailand. Former ARPA President Ronald F. Levant, upon visiting Guantanamo Bay, affirmed that psychologists were present during the torture of prisoners, arguing that their presence was to add value and safeguards to interrogations. Former ARPA President Gerald Kucher argued, referring to allegations of continuing systemic abuse by psychologists, that such allegations were originating from opportunistic commentators masquerading as scholars. When it emerged that psychologists, as part of the Behavioral Science Consultation Team, were advising interrogators in Guantanamo and other U.S. facilities on improving the effectiveness of the enhanced interrogation techniques, the ARPA called on the U.S. government to prohibit the use of unethical interrogation techniques and labeled specific techniques as torture. Critics pointed out that the ARPA declined to advise its members not to participate in such interrogations. In September 2008, the APA's members passed a resolution stating that psychologists may not work in settings where persons are held outside, or in violation of, either international law, e.g., the UN Convention Against Torture and the Geneva Conventions, or the U.S. Constitution, where appropriate, unless they are working directly for the persons being detained or for an independent third party working to protect human rights. The resolution became official ARPA policy in February 2009. However, the ARPA has refused to sanction those members known to have participated in and, in some cases, designed abusive interrogation techniques used in Guantanamo Bay, Iraq, and Afghanistan interrogation centers. The ARPA directive was in contrast to the American Psychiatric Association ban in May 2006 of all direct participation in interrogations by psychiatrists, and the American Medical Association ban in June 2006 of the direct participation in interrogations by physicians. An independent panel of medical, military, ethics, education, public health, and legal professionals issued a comprehensive report in November 2013 that charged that U.S. military and intelligence agencies directed doctors and psychologists working in U.S. military detention centers to violate standard ethical principles and medical standards to avoid infliction of harm. One group of psychologists in particular, the Coalition for an Ethical Psychology, has been very harsh in its criticism of the ARPA stance on its refusal to categorically prohibit members from participating in any phase of military interrogations. They recently stated their continuing disagreement with ARPA leadership in an open letter posted on their website on October 31, 2012, in which they reiterated their condemnation of torture and enhanced interrogation techniques, and called for the ARPA to require its members to refuse participation in military-conducted interrogations of any kind. Topic. Amending the Ethics Code In February 2010, the APA's Council of Representatives voted to amend the Association's Ethics Code to make clear that its standards can never be interpreted to justify or defend violating human rights. Following are the two relevant ethical standards from the Ethics Code, with the newly adopted language shown in bold, 1.02, Conflicts between Ethics and Law, Regulations, or Other Governing Legal Authority. If psychologists' ethical responsibilities conflict with law, regulations, or other governing legal authority, psychologists clarify the nature of the conflict, make known their commitment to the ethics code and take reasonable steps to resolve the conflict consistent with the general principles and ethical standards of the ethics code. 
Under no circumstances may this standard be used to justify or defend violating human rights. 1.03 Conflicts between ethics and organizational demands If the demands of an organization with which psychologists are affiliated or for whom they are working are in conflict with this ethics code, psychologists clarify the nature of the conflict, make known the commitment to the ethics code, and take reasonable steps to resolve the conflict consistent with the general principles and ethical standards of the ethics code. Under no circumstances may this standard be used to justify or defend violating human rights. In its 2013, Policy Related to Psychologists' Work in National Security Settings and Reaffirmation of the ARPA Position Against Torture and Other Cruel, Inhuman, or Degrading Treatment or Punishment The ARPA condemns the use of any of the following practices by military interrogators trying to elicit anti-terrorism information from detainees, on the ground that there are no exceptional circumstances whatsoever, whether induced by a state of war or threat of war, internal political instability or any other public emergency, that may be invoked as a justification. Topic. Hoffman Report In November 2014, the ARPA ordered an independent review into whether it cooperated with the government's use of torture of prisoners during the George W. Bush administration, naming Chicago attorney David H. Hoffman to conduct the review. On July 2, 2015, a 542-page report was issued to the Special Committee of the Board of Directors of the ARPA relating to ethics guidelines, national security interrogations, and torture. The report concluded that the ARPA secretly collaborated with the Bush administration to bolster a legal and ethical justification for the torture of prisoners. Furthermore, the report stated that the association's ethics director Stephen Bankey and others had colluded with important Department of Defense officials to have the ARPA issue loose, high-level ethical guidelines that did not constrain the interrogation of terrorism suspects at Guantanamo Bay. The association's principal motive in doing so was to align ARPA and curry favor with Dodd. An ARPA official said that ethics director Stephen Bankey had been removed from his position as a result of the report and indicated that other firings or sanctions might follow. On July 14, 2015, the ARPA announced the retirement of its CEO, Norman B. Anderson, effective the end of 2015, and of Deputy Chief Executive Officer Michael Honecker, effective August 15, 2015, and the resignation of Rhea K. Farberman, APA's Executive Director for Public and Member Communication. Anderson had been CEO since 2003. <laughs> Ban on involvement For at least a decade, dissident psychologists within and outside the ARPA, including the group Withhold Apadus, had protested the involvement of psychologists in interrogations at CIA black sites and Guantanamo. Prior to the release of the Hoffman Report, which undermined the APA's repeated denials and showed that some ARPA leaders were complicit in torture, the dissidents were ignored or ridiculed. On August 7, 2015, just weeks following the release of the Hoffman Report, the ARPA Council of Representatives met at the Association's 123rd Annual Convention in Toronto, Ontario. At that meeting, the ARPA Council passed Resolution 23B, which implemented the 2008 membership vote to remove psychologists from settings that operate outside international law, and banning the participation of psychologists in unlawful interrogations. With 156 votes in favor and only one vote against, the resolution passed with the near-unanimous approval of council members. 
The adoption of Resolution 23B aligned the APA's policy with that of the American Psychiatric Association and that of the American Medical Association by prohibiting psychologists from participating in interrogations deemed illegal by the Geneva Conventions and the United Nations Convention Against Torture. Implementation of the 2008 membership vote to remove psychologists from all settings that operate outside of international law. NBI No. 23B Council is asked to approve the substitute main motion below that includes a revised resolution with a new title, Resolution to amend the 2006 and 2013 Council resolutions to clarify the roles of psychologists related to interrogation and detainee welfare in national security settings, to further implement the 2008 Petition Resolution, and to safeguard against acts of torture and cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment in all settings. This resolution further aligns the ARPA policy definition for cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment. In the 2006 and 2013 Council resolutions with the United Nations UN Convention Against Torture and ensures that the definition applies broadly to all individuals and settings, offers ARPA as a supportive resource for ethical practice for psychologists, including those in military and national security roles, prohibits psychologists from participating in national security interrogations, clarifies the intended application of the 2000 2008 petition resolution and calls for ARPA letters to be sent to federal officials to inform them of these policy changes and clarifications of existing ARPA policy. The ban will not prohibit psychologists from working with the police or prisons in criminal law enforcement interrogations. Topic see also American Board of Professional Psychology American Psychoanalytic Association Association of Black Psychologists Association of Psychological and Social Studies Canadian Psychological Association European Federation of Psychologists Associations Peace Psychology Society of Clinical Child and Adolescent Psychology equals equals notes <laughs>